abnormal ventricular tachycardia. It is a specific entity of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia called TDB, Tursa de Boins, twisting of the line wax and wane of the QRS complex lock. This one example and another, and this another example for elder female patient with bradycardia, and then she developed bouts of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, which called TDB, with syncopal attack. They treated by shock, by shock, DC shock, and by amidarone, but the recurrency is, it is occur. Uh, during investigation of uh, electrolyte, the, she found, she found that she has, she had severe hypokalemia and hypomagnesemia. She received a, a complete dose of potassium and magnesium and after that she got recovered without recurrent. Therefore, we need to identify this type of the polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. It's called TDB, common risk and, and prevention, prevention, particularly in female patient and hypokalemic, hypomagnesemic, patient with heart failure or left ventricular hypertrophy, bradycardia, because this elderly lady, she has bradycardia, she has complete air, AV block. And before that, she, after that, this is the resting ECG, this is right bundle branch block and AV block, first degree AV block and left anterior hemi block. She has three types of block in one. And she is risky. She, the prophylaxis here is important. Other differential diagnosis of this type of tachy of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, it is ventricular fibrillation. The ventricular fibrillation it is uh, serious rhythm that end with asystole and cardiac death if the treatment is delay less more than five to seven minutes. And the initial, the earlier the treatment, the good the prognosis, particularly when there is a fine ventricular fibrillation, there is poor prognosis. But during some good complex here, which could be ventricular flutter, may be shockable. This is a shockable state. And this abnormal tachycardia, the tach polymorphic, should be differentiated from artifact this are this normal are and this normal are and this normal this normal the movement this artifact this this artifact movement for elder male patient during the exercise test here the presence of normal are 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 are, are between this artifact artifact it will help us to identify the artifact because we will get confusion and this is the abnormal with normal QT, of course, these, those patients having normal QT interval, but this special form of ventricular tachycardia, it has long QT interval, this TDB. This is called exercise induced bidirectional VTAC with catecholamine polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. In normal QT interval, particularly it is most common cause of sudden cardiac death in children affected by this, by the abnormal, by abnormal electrical mutation. This is, must be differentiated from polymorphic ventricular tachycardia and this is the WBW syndrome with atrial fibrillation. Look here, it's very rapid, very rapid more than three, be, 300 beat, beats per minute. When it is become rapid, it is become narrow, opposite that of apparent conduction. The apparent conduction with atrial fibrillation, it is, when it is become faster, it is become wider because the dilatation is related to the uh, rate. Here, in case of WBW syndrome, when it is become faster, it is become narrower and abnormal in amplitude and duration. This rhythm commonly confused with what with, what, with monomorphic ventricular tachycardia, causing by the fascicular, posterior fascicular VTAC because the presence of 
tell you we bought this WBW syndrome with atrial fibrillation for differential diagnosis from the ventricular fibrillation with normal QT and early coupling QT, early coupling premature ventricular beat which coming upon the T wave and initiating the bidirectional ventricular polymorphic ventricular tachycardia similarly to the catecholamine polymorphic ventricular tachycardia and sometimes a rare occasion of digitalis intoxication. Here the differential diagnosis should be also from the WBW syndrome with atrial fibrillation with high rate more than 300 beats per minute because it's going through the accessory pathway and during the the, the QRS complex is very narrow here during the fast rate that's differentiated this rhythm from another re-entry ventricular tachycardia similar to the perbamil sensitive ventricular tachycardia this when we face when we face this case we're confused with with WBW syndrome and atrial fibrillation but this characteristically present with capture beat and fusion beat but monomorphic ventricular tachycardia with characteristic ECG that is right bundle branch block with left axis deviation this tachycardia is respond to verbamil and structurally normal heart but this should be treated differently by broad spectrum antiarrhythmic agent such as brucanamide or amidaron or with DC shock if the patient is unstable and this from this should be differentiated and also this from ventricular fibrillation with normal QT and from ventricular polymorphic ventricular tachycardia with long QT at the last you have to differentiate to remember this the torsa D point with long QT and because the treatment and the prevention is different than other polymorphic ventricular tachycardia thank you for your watching